Hey guys, Andy here, and we gotta talk. So, I know my last couple videos have been a little upsetting for some people. So, after thinking about it for a couple days, I decided to pull those videos back and decided to change the Andy Japandy channel back into the Andy Japandy channel. Um, so, the videos aren't gonna be moved to this channel, they're gonna still stay on that channel and you know just keep things as they were as far as that goes but that being said i do want to do anime video essays at some point so if i do decide to go forward with them i want to put them on the andy japandy channel because you know it's anime it's japan it works <laughs> so um we'll put them on that channel instead of this one so we'll just see how it goes from there. So that's what's going on as far as as far as that channel goes. But ultimately today I wanted to talk to you about just my own future on YouTube, really. So again, in addition to the whole Andy Japandy thing, I've just been doing a lot of thinking about just what the hell I'm even doing on YouTube right now. You know, I've been been on the platform for uh, for going on 15 years. It'll be uh, next year, and you know I've built up an audience, and you know I see you guys in the comments and everything, and it's definitely makes makes a guy feel loved to uh, see you guys interacting in the comments and stuff, and watching the vids and you know like, commenting, subscribing, all the YouTuber shit that uh, everybody has to fucking tell people to do. So, but it is good to see you guys uh, doing those things. And, uh, you know, it's just, but one of the things is that with, uh, with freelance video editing, I've been doing it since 2016, so four, going on five years now, and I've seen the most success doing that, editing for other people and companies and whatnot. You know, I've seen the most uh, financial success, views success, working for other people. And while I am very grateful and appreciative for those who have given me the opportunity to show what I can do and uh, stuff like that, you know, as, as a creator, I can't help but feel a little envious, if anything, about you know, not getting similar views to my own content that I put together. And I realized that, you know, I should focus on like one topic, one niche, and just go ham on that. But I don't know, my creative process is kind of all over the place. If you guys couldn't tell by now. And, but at the same time, it's just really frustrating you know, to see things that you put together have their success while other things that you put together for you and, and your channels um, get just a, uh, a small fraction of what the other guys get. You know, it just makes you kind of doubt your own abilities. And, you know, it's just one of those, one of those things that's really hard for me to deal with, you know, and it, it, I know this all sounds like, you know, first world problems, like, oh my god, get a fucking real job, Jesus Christ, you know, so I understand that, and, um, but at the same time, it's just really hard to, to deal with that, and, you know, with, with me getting older, you know, it's just, it's harder and harder to get the energy to work all the time on my own videos you know like if I'm not busy either doing homework or uh, working for other channels or companies and whatnot you know trying to put together my own stuff and just trying to make it all work at the same time honestly is, is just a fool's errand and I was crazy to just even try it but uh, earlier this month, I've just hit a wall with everything that's, that's been going on. And 
obviously something had to give and that's something for me is is YouTube so I've decided to take a break from all my channels this isn't gonna be a permanent thing I will come back eventually but I think it's just best right now to just take a break reassess and come back stronger and I know I've made these I'm taking a break from YouTube hiatus videos a whole bunch only to come back a few days later but I think even if I do feel better after a few days I'm still gonna give myself some more time to to really think about what I want to do on YouTube or even if I want to do YouTube anymore because like I said you know I've been doing it for almost 15 years and you know when I was closing in on my on my 10 year anniversary on YouTube back in 2016 um, I thought it was just really cool to have been a creator for that long on the platform and you know, I just got to show just my process and me essentially growing up you know like I started YouTube when I was 20 and you know, I'm gonna be 35 in a couple months so it's just cool to see to go back and, and see all the old videos that I did you know when when I was just uh, living out in Ohio with my folks trying to figure out where the hell to go in my life after I joined the Navy or my whole time in it's been documented here on YouTube and even after I got out, you know, I documented my struggles readjusting to college life, American life, civilian life, all those things. And I've also documented my process in coming back out here to Japan. And I've also documented my time out here in Japan. Although sadly, I haven't documented quite as much as I wanted to out here in Japan due to uh, Cologne Chan World Tour, among other things. So... Got to admit that that part's been a little frustrating for me as well, but I think overall, it's just uh, you know one of those things where I know I can make good content. The numbers reflect that with the people that I make content for, and you know for people who aren't on YouTube, you know the corporate videos and stuff that I put together. They're seeing success with more clients coming in and all this other stuff, thanks in part to my videos. So, like, I have the skills, obviously, <laughs> to put this stuff together. It's not like I'm a dad with a camcorder doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. You know, I have very tangible, real numbers success, right? But at the same time, as as a creator and someone who's been doing it for going on 15 years it's still frustrating to, to see that your videos only get so many viewers and only get so many comments and it sounds like a complete put down to to my regular audience which it's not like this this is not an indictment on you guys in the slightest i'm incredibly grateful for you guys to support and without you guys I would have nobody to talk to I mean I'd probably get more of a dialogue just talking to my walls over here um, but it's thanks to you guys that I have any semblance of interaction at all and uh, especially out here in Japan with the uh, old Kelowna Chan World Tour in full effect and me doing online classes and everybody else keeping their social distance um, you know, I felt like YouTube and work and all that was, was all I had, you know, and if I'm not seeing any success out of YouTube, no matter how much I love it and put my heart and soul into it, it just, you know, something has to give after a while. And it's just that kind of frustration because I do want to be an editor and I do want to help build other channels up. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, I still have ideas to contribute and things that I want to do for my channels and when I try to do those it's just it's one of those things where it's like you love it but it doesn't really love you back so yeah it's um, you know ultimately the uh, at the end of the day it's on me to create content that you guys want to see and I'm thankful and appreciative for those who do watch my content and do 
like, comment, and subscribe, and all that youtube -y shit that everybody likes to remind everybody to do, which I already said, so if you haven't done that already. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm sorry this is just unedited. I have a whole bunch of stuff I gotta take care of, so I didn't want to sit down and edit this mess of a, <laughs> a fucking update video. So basically, made this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. The TLDR is that I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube for a little bit to uh, get my shit together upstairs. And uh, I'm hoping to come back to YouTube harder, better, faster, stronger, and uh, have a real plan set in place. So, anyway. This is not goodbye. Let's see you next time. So, with that said, guys, it's uh, Give it some extra motivation because it might be a while before I see you guys next. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son. Signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.